I talk about quite a lot on my channel. I don't like to keep to the same thing. I like to talk about loads of things. I like to talk about the lies. I like to talk about the actors. I like to talk about what people come on our hangouts for, which is many varied subjects. I like to talk about the history, Tartaria. I like to talk about loads of things. This map comes into my feed today. You know, it comes in down the bottom. It's this map of, it's um, Anglo-Saxon England. Anything look really weird to you? The Welsh? This is all Wales. This must be the English in that tiny bit there. And the Scots are in Ireland. They're not the Scots. Are... Do you get that? I don't get any of that. I thought I'd just add that in. So Welsh is most of the... It says 500 AD, but how do they know? Only the red bits are English. This is all Wales. All of that. No, Scotland. Or in the island. Scots. Very, 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 very weird. What it says here is the first world map in standard is in standard atlas historic choreography 1570 to 24 by 36 inches. This important map of the world appeared in 1570 in the Theodum Orbis Terranium of Abraham or Tellius. First known significant collection maps. Mm. I've told you that Greenland was lying on its side up here. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, there's England. This is the Four Rivers. Just look at the size of it. It's much, 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 much bigger than Africa. Look at the size of it from here to here. Now, as we know with Greenland, which is up here, we're not allowed to go anywhere near it, so we'll never know. But even in these maps, do you see how far America never had South America below it? It was always to the right. And what a shape that is. Then look at Antarctica. And over here, there isn't uh, Australia. Australia's down here. So, I thought that was very interesting. This map, if you wanted to buy it, would cost you $17,500. Hmm. But anyway, again, four rivers, big up there. There's no Australia, but Australia is in this bit now, so something must have flooded. Because I don't think if we had it, Antarctica would come up this high. Here's another map. Although they're only showing you the top part. Do you see here? Look at the size of England. I'm not saying it's quite the size of France, but it's longer than France and it's much bigger than they have ever said it was. Without the winds coming in there, maybe, who knows. The Africa looks a different shape here, doesn't it? Noticed on this map here that, that Asia is joined. They've got it joined to this is here. They've not obviously finished it off because obviously that's Africa and it goes further down, but they've got it joined. It's joined up there. I just wanted to mention that. Another map. Still not showing us the way it is today. Um, just going to move here to one more of these maps. Another map. No Australia. But Australia is this bit here. Oh, that is weird, isn't it? Weird map. The one thing I noticed was that Greenland is called America Greenland. That says Greenland right across America. So I thought that was a bit strange, although I do think that this is Greenland here. Well, what they're saying is Greenland today, but don't forget it's up here with the four rivers. So that's, yeah, what they're showing you as Greenland. America is Greenland. And South America is attached to Antarctica, no Australia. And Africa doesn't look so big either. Because obviously it's a big country. 
So I thought that was very interesting. Another map with the four rivers and Antarctica down the bottom like that. Hmm. I find these old maps very, very interesting. They have the equator, they have the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn on them. They must have known what they were doing, they had so much on the maps. Those are what they're depicting, what they look like. Another one. They are all a little different, but I was a bit shocked when they called America Greenland. I've never seen that before, but that's what happens when you go and look and research, you see things. You see things. Anyway, there's a bit of land down the bottom there, at the bottom of um, South America. Another map. And this has England on one side and America and South America on the other side. But that's quite interesting, although it's, maybe it's a book and a page down the middle, but um, they put them on separate pages. Again, Antarctica looks enormous on there. And another map where you've got South America linked to Argentina, um, Antarctica and no Australia. So there must have been some flooding. And look on the left here, there's an island just here, which is not shown to us. <clears throat> there is Australia and New Zealand. And what I did was, I, I think this is the bit where I put Australia, there you go, that one says 15 to 1600s, just so that you know. And ODD put that one on, so yeah, he looked at this map. There's Australia. So, I've got to make it a bit smaller. Well, I will make it a bit smaller. I wondered whether I could match that in. Actually, what you're looking at is the top of Australia there, but I didn't. I don't know. Well, I thought, oh, look, that bit sort of reminds me of a bit of Australia, but I couldn't match it in, so it might be further along. Might be that bit there at the end. But obviously, Australia isn't this small. It's actually the size of America. Not Canada and America, just America. It is a huge piece of land which they've never shown the real size of Australia. It's enormous. Absolutely enormous. And then I came across the Disneyland map. This is from a video. And what this guy reckons is that they have depicted all the countries on there. Like that one there is Britain. These are the top parts. So Britain, that's like uh, Sweden. The first one is Sweden. And it goes along. And there's Asia. This is from the Disneyland map. And they're saying that they reckon that that is Africa sticking out the bottom, and it could be. But I'm not sure. And then that one would be Australia. And then this person put the world over part of the map. And then he put America and South America but I've flown to America they tell you that you're flying well when I went we stopped at Bangor Maine which is just inside Canada from America but they you you go over Greenland to get to America and then this map wouldn't be showing that would it because America and Canada aren't on their own hmm That's very interesting. Very interesting indeed, but I'm not sure. What I'll do is at the end, well it's just it's just if you pick up a Disneyland map, 
They started in 1955, I think, and then changed it. But anyway, I thought that was interesting. There's the Disneyland map, or one of them. But I'm not, I'm not sure about that. But that was what that person thought was the Disneyland map was showing the world, but in a different way and a different map. But we know that they lie, so and we can't say what shape and size we are, so maybe that's true. Thank you.